the search for freedom from Romania to the US. A story about a Romanian immigrant fleeing from persecution. My uncle, Emmanuel Rossetti, was born in 1970 to a middle-class family in the heartland of Romania. His family consisted of his older brother and his parents. They grew up in the bustling city of Bucharest, where his father worked as a journalist, and his mother as well. He grew up under the reign of Nicolae Ceausescu, the communist leader of Romania. His power began five years before my uncle's birth, and spanned until 1989, when he was finally overthrown. Life was dangerous, as even a small infraction against the regime was viewed as egregious. Citizens with critical opinions of the government disappeared, as was very common during his reign. The fear of being taken by the secret police of Nicolae was a constant fear in my uncle's young life. His father became a critic of the government, thinking he was safe under the alias he used to write his articles. He also believed that his articles were nowhere near as polarizing as those that disappeared, but he couldn't be more wrong. The government got more and more strict as Nikolai tightened his grip on the media. Finally, one day, after weeks of fear and constant stress, he published a piece that talked of some of the minor downfalls of their communist government. Shortly after publishing the piece, his dad disappeared, and his family was forced to flee for fear of being persecuted themselves. They left everything behind and fled to the Ukraine, where they took shelter as refugees. The camps were dirty, grimy, and gross, but it was all they had. They had nothing in their name and only a sad past in a torn country, so they decided to try to start anew in America. They left the Ukraine in 1982 and came to the United States as refugees. He came into the United States with his brother and his mother after leaving behind family, their home, and many belongings that meant so much to them. They felt like now they could finally start over. They flew into Phoenix, Arizona. They chose Arizona as this was an area where his mother knew some distant family that had immigrated years earlier. This distant family lived in Chandler, Arizona, and this is where they chose to settle down. Emmanuel had no idea what the transition would be like and wasn't prepared in the slightest for the heat that he was set to experience. It was like he had to relearn everything, he said. Nothing was the same. From culture, language, climate, and school. His friends didn't know his experiences and weren't able to understand why his father didn't come from Romania with them. Why his accent was so strange. It was hard for Emmanuel to fit in. But, but he liked it better in America, where things were so different. The part that was most different, he said, was freedom. Emmanuel felt safe at home and at school something that in Romania was so uncommon for him and his family. No more looking over his shoulder or the fear of being followed. Manuel took up baseball after lots of poking and prodding from his mother. He then began to make friends more easily and he felt like he finally was starting to fit in. But a year after moving from Romania, Emmanuel finally felt acclimated, safe, and like he had a chance to succeed but most importantly, he felt home.